Hi there, guys and gals. I'm back. And this is the follow-up <laughs> to the last one. Anyway, here's the, the hand wheel. It's in the water, soapy water, dishwater. And I'm just giving it a little scrub-a-dub, an initial washing. And it seems like most of the grime is, is coming off pretty good. The brush is just the first, the first wipe. And then I'll get a paper towel. I just happen to have a paper towel right here. So it's had a bit of a dry, towel dry. There's lots of nooks and crannies in this thing. So I have the hair dryer set on high heat and then I put it on low blow. Well, I did put that on high, didn't I? I did. So, we got that. What else? What other goodies? Ah, there's our friend, the, the Tech Tonight bearing. So, we'll give it another scrub. And I had not the hand wheel itself. It was just sitting on the table here. But I had this Tech Tonight bearing in the liquid dishwashing here in water, soaking for about... 10 minutes. I put it in there about 10 minutes before I started recording. So, so that's already improved again. There's still a lit, there's still some interior wise. So I'll see what I can do with my friend, the paper towel. And we'll just use the one that we had last time. Let's get in there and see what we can do. So there's still a little... You know what, actually, it looks like a bit of an indentation or a groove, like a, like a little scratch. Some of it is stained, some of it is in, you know, ground in scratch. So that's kind of interesting in a small way. <laughs> How are you guys? Have you subscribed yet? Come on, subscribe. I'm trying to get 45 subscribers by midnight tonight, by tomorrow, by midnight tomorrow night. I think I've got 44. So thank you for subscribing. And somebody subscribed just like an hour ago. So I really appreciate this. And if you have a web, you know, if you have a channel, like let me know. I want to, like, you may be doing stuff that I'm really interested in, and that happens a lot with subscribing back and forth. I'm going to get the, the grease. So there, we'll just soak it in grease. And grease is time-released oil. I've been, I've been told. I've been red, <laughs> red too. So I think we pretty much greased up the whole, all the teeth and even there, and we'll do in there too, because we want to, the parts that we don't, see, the areas that we don't see on a regular basis always stay dirty longest. And so I'm just going to let that, uh, sit for maybe even overnight. Do I have anything else in there? No, that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, as far as the hand wheel, I'm just going to give it a really good drenching in oil. And then I'll take the Q-tips or the, what do you call those cotton swabs?
There's some little bit of gunk varnish there. But oil doesn't harm the, the finish of the paint. And for years, Singer advised that you should clean your sewing machine and kerosene. So, I'm glad we don't have to do that. Let me see what I get out of here. Well, that's not that bad because it's already been washed once for sure. So that's good that we're we're getting in there and uh, there's a little bit of grime in that one. Are these dirtier? Yeah, there's a little bit, but it is getting oiled. All those, because these are all closed areas. They're only open at this end. So they would be prime for, for rust or grunge hiding out, but now we've got all this oil on. And I'm gonna let that sit in the oil. I'm also going to get this spring, whatever this device is called. And it's had a nice oiling now. And likewise, this lock washer, spring washer. And I'm just gonna let them sit overnight or until I have to move them to make the next video. So it'll probably be, I don't know if I'll do another one tonight or not. I kind of wanted to, but we'll see. But anyway, so that's what we did. I still have these things to wash in here. And uh, so I'll be able to do that, but we've been able to get a good look at, uh, at how we wanna get this stuff clean. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe like, comment. I'd love to hear what your projects are or your machines or whether you sew or crochet or knit or woodwork or weld or whatever you do. Um, let's hear about it. Thanks.